Hello, um, welcome to my channel. Um, I thought I'd get you to just um, maybe join in with me while I'm kissing up uh, this project, which is actually a three-in-one project. Um, I'm calling it Abstract Flowers. This is the image. Now, the images are slightly different between um, the square and the round on this but what I'm going to be doing is taking uh, this image here and converting it to round drill for drill so it won't be a 30 by 25 which is what these two are um, so I'm just getting it ready um, it's something that I'll do as a bit of a break in between um, maybe just potter through it. It may take a year before it's going from start to finish because effectively there's three kits in one. Um, I have ordered the blank canvas and the drills from, well, the blank canvas is coming from uh, Ali because stitches to stones when I contacted them sorry I didn't contact them they didn't have round blank um, on their site they do square blank as standard they do round and square drills so I contacted them but I also got a price off Ali at the same time and stitches to stones were going to be uh, over five dollars different so I decided to just stick with the Ali and they also um, hadn't got back to me for a few days. Not that that's much of an issue, but I just wanted to get everything moving pretty much at the same time. Um, so they are in transit. The stone, the, the drills were shipped, um, I think, last week. Um, and the canvas should be here in um, three to four weeks. So they're on a bit of a slower boat, but this is where the experiment is going to be crucial. Now, the only issues I've got with doing it on a blank canvas is I don't have the color still in the background. So effectively, it's going to be round drills on a white canvas. And um, I'm going to have the sticky contact um, between the drills with the white background. I don't know if it's going to look as good as it should. It will, probably won't. Um, one thing I noticed, uh, Diamond in the Rough actually um, just the other day had got a box from DIY Moon Shop. Um, now when I say the other day, I don't know when this video is going to go out. So the other day, it's um, 7th of July. So it was a couple of days ago, she had a DIY Moon Shop I think she called it a sample box. Anyway, it's this pretty little brown box with sparklers, um, the electric diamonds, as they call them, in DIY Moon Shop. And the sparklers um, went into the shape of a diamond and crescent moon on the front of the box. And to cover up the sticky that was in between all those diamonds, she used um, foundation powder, which I thought was a really, really cool idea to use because she needed the brown so that the um, the talc kind of would have shown up against the brown box. So she used brown against brown, um, and I thought that was um, quite a nifty idea. I don't know if I could maybe get um, like a crushed powder paint and maybe put that in between some of the areas. We'll wait and see. Um, I'll wait and see how bad it is against the white and if it's that glaring an issue. All right, I've got a bit of a popping lid issue. Oh, that's going to strike me nuts. All right, I'm going to need my blade <coughs> and some dusting. Um, these pill boxes, I know. I saw somebody on Facebook had got these 
similar the other day. Um, she said she paid a dollar for hers. They had the days of the week on it. And I suggested that she use the method to get the names up. Um, but um, they were certainly cheaper. Um, but they look almost identical other than the names on them to these. And they are really, really handy for drills. These are what hinder <clears throat> some of this closing. Now I just did not want to close, and neither does that one. Let's try some leverage. That's be better. All right, that might be fine. Okay. Right now that I've trimmed all of these off, now it's on to the tweezers and lift and stick. I'm just going to put all these on a diagonal. There's my round, kitted up with the colours. This is my square box. But what I've done is I've written on the outside and I've written on the inside of the lid so that when it starts to rub off on the outside, I can still see what it's supposed to say. And um, these are my repositionable labels. Um, this one has printed slightly narrower than my last one, so these are going down even quicker than that because I'm not having to measure up quite into the corner. Um, I haven't, oh, I have looked um, when I unboxed these, which again the video hasn't hadn't been released when I got them because it's part of the whole project so I wanted to get all three in at the one time and then release it as a three in one kind of video. Um the colours are not the same from the square to the round um as sold by the store. Again a bonus contention so shading is going to be slightly different so what I'm doing is I'm using the colors from the square because it's 41 colors and the placement is going to be based on the square. I've blown it up I think by 5%. I put a clear cover on it. I photocopied the canvas. What I will try to do is work on the round the um, the DIY round, let's call it. I'll, I'll work on the DIY round first so that I can cross-reference against the square canvas in reality. Um, so that if I have any issues with reading my photocopy, I can reference the actual canvas just to be sure that I've got the right drills down. Because the whole point of this is to show, is there a difference between a round and a square in size for size, I guess. Um, now, round drills being 2.8 are bigger than the square. So what we're looking for is the effect overall. Is it different when it's drill for drill and how much of the gapping makes a difference and all of that kind of thing. Because when I measured up, now these are only little paintings. 30 by 25 is tiny. When I measured up for the square into the round, um, it added three centimeters, even to this small size. So um, if you can imagine how big a difference a round and a square is going to be in a 40 by 50 or 60 by something, uh, you're gonna be adding about six centimeters on. That's a whole size jump, really. Um, between round and square. So if you're a round fan and you like a particular image, you can't really go for the smaller sizes. You've actually got to go one more size up again um, in order to get the similar effect as the people making square drills of those images. 
So just because you like someone's square image um, at a certain size and you're a round diamond painter, you're going to be disappointed when you come to doing your round because it's not going to have the detail um, because you're going to be four or five centimeters out in size difference um, when it comes down to it. So um, you've got to think that little bit bigger. So those calculations, I think, should be taken into consideration. And, and that's partly why I'm doing this kind of an experiment to show you how much different they're going to be. Um, and um, color-wise, then, it shouldn't actually show too much of a difference. It sh the aim, I think, is that they're going to look on par, but you've got to go bigger. Um, I guess it's the short story. Now, this is a photocopy of the legend, and I've got blurring and ugh, horrible print across both the round and square, so um, I know they're different printers when they print onto the canvas. The canvas I did have seemed clear, although now that I think of it, um, I hope I've looked in enough detail. I've only really looked at the square in greater detail because I ended up photocopying that. Um, I did have some funky rippling and reflections on the photocopier. Um, so I'm hoping that I've caught all of those. I put them down and I laid them flat and rubbed nails and did all that kind of thing to try and make sure that I had no shine, but there was a couple of rivers, I suppose, still on the photocopy version. Um, so I'm hope that's why I'm keeping the square canvas undone so I can make sure I can read everything. There was maybe half a square of each one. Might be obscured by this kind of glare of the cover as it shines from the scanner. Um, let's see how we go. Um, now, these fill containers, as you can tell, if you can do your maths, are 21 day containers. So my squares have 30, 41, and my rounds have 39. Um, so I've got one thing free. Right, time for the drill. So my rounds and my squares. I'm missing two colors in the round. The seller said that they would ship them to me. Um, I was also missing, in a similar time, some 3865. Now I'm going to keep this part. Very important. Um, 3865, and they gave me the runaround uh, from the gorgeous girl. Excuse me. It was from the gorgeous girl because Lefelan then tried to say, oh no, just buy from this, here's a link, and just don't pay. And I guess, yeah, right, that sounds great in theory, except you can't, you can put something in your cart, and I don't know how in the world I can put something through any further without paying for the stupid thing. So I can't remember what I said, I said in the end. I said, no, I can't put this through, so you're just going to have to ship it to me. Um, and you don't need whatever stupid thing you're talking about uh, to um, get a tracking number. And I, at this stage, like, I really don't care if I don't get a tracking number. Just give me the damn drill. Um, I don't have my inventory out for these. Uh, possibly should. Let me get them. Is round. Because there are three colors of some of these, and I might as well put them all in. 
I've got five for one. So I'm only going to have one extra bag. I might be able to just bend that into one of these spares. All right. Just means when I go grab these out, I can make sure. Oh no, they're all skin, so that's going to be fine. I can solve that problem. <clears throat> Mag. Um, I don't know. Some people seem to hate kidding up in the Excuse me. I don't mind the kidding up. I don't mind the kidding down. I have actually got a kidding down video from when I've had my hua can finish. But I haven't put it up for any reason. I don't know if it was supposed to be uh, just a time lapse kind of thing, and I might just put it to music. I've got a drill. Get out. These colors are really gorgeous. I have you seen the reason why I'm doing it into the tray or over the tray is to catch them if they go straight. Go for the next one. Uh, eight, two, three. I think it was this kit. Maybe this one doesn't have quite so many dark, but there was one of them I did recently, and there was. Um, it seemed to be just dark drills and this mass paint for the print. Uh, just a nightmare. It's hard to see what the numbers were. drill in there. Don't care. Uh, nine, um, I have a bin. Actually, I'm going to consolidate them into an envelope. Otherwise, I think it's just going to go everywhere. I was making up some pens, and I broke my big scissors handle. I just snapped the clean off. Pointing. Not that I use it very much. I'll have to go out and get a scissors. And five seconds. First, uh, some junk from an old kit. Um, I think it's, yeah. I like this little one. Uh, these are from, oh, I didn't write down on the store. That was naughty. Um, let me get the store because these drills are awesome. They're not staticky or anything. Um, Yeah, there 
go. Painting Imagine store on AliExpress. No static. Um, clean drills. Um, Um, again, I haven't counted the drills. I'm trusting that there's the usual 200 in each bag. Um, although, if I was to compare a bag of squares and a bag of rounds, yeah, maybe there is a few more because the rounds are going to be bigger, so they're going to take up more space, so you can't actually go, again, volume for volume, they're going to be bigger. So when you're kidding up, you really don't want to have um, static -y drills fighting with you. I have seen um I just saw Jennifer not Jennifer, Rachel the other day had static drills on one of her it's possibly her custom and the drill jumped. Um I think I've only had that happen to me once where I had I think I've only ever had the one packet. I I, I say that now and I'm probably gonna get a kit and it's the whole thing's just gonna be static. -y. Um but the drill jumped around like jumping jelly jumping jacks, jumping uh -huh. jumping beans. Ah, that one. A little bit off. This obviously is a brand new box, and I haven't worked it to get rid of all those little tags or anything else. I had one that I brought up to Sydney when I was up there recently, and um, okay, eight one nine. Eight one nine. Oh, there is four. Okay. All right. We'll keep this one for now. Him. Oh, that's supposed to be a nine oh three. Eight oh three. No, there's no nine oh three. What have I done? Eight one nine, seven one seven. I'll put these on the wrong way around. No, I think I'll four four two in the middle anyway. Now, ultimately, it might not matter because they're not in under order. But they matter to me. Sorry. All right, so 803 is actually 817. Right. Now they're in order of number, and that's what threw me. All right, 819. Now we're getting there. All right, I know these containers hold three quite comfortably, which is why I'm putting the three in. I think I might be pushing it to try the fourth. Get out. Get 
sense. Yeah, see, I'm not going to put a fourth into that. Okay, so 819 might fit into one of these bears, and I may not even take it out of the bag. Seven. Ooh, I have a spare left over. Dump that. The pretty purple so I have three things. I'm not gonna worry about the um blurry image on the box. And I'm not gonna oops that was a colossal failure. And I'm not gonna worry about Keeping the bag or anything else. Five fifty. I do love this pack. It's gorgeous. So rich. Well, getting through this, I know people have said this takes hours and it can, I don't know, um, some people just don't seem to enjoy this. Uh, I know it's going to take, I know I've been recording 27 minutes, I'm less than halfway through. All right, five, three, eight, three, seven, yeah, that's correct, so take off two. I have used a funnel when I was kissing up into my bag with the tall jars. They're five centimeters tall and the sixty jars. Okay. This is going to be a problem. Bit of a squeeze. Save yourself. Didn't go far enough down. Uh, six or six. 
comes in too many whip and chat um, when I'm going through my colours. But what I do is um, go through the box methodically. So um, I just look at what colour is next in the box and that's how I work my confetti. Um, and that way I tend not to miss any colours um, not to say I'm not going through and I don't miss I have to backtrack but I'm not searching for colours um, within my blocks and I tend to work in the two inches by four inches kind of size. Now, why? That's like a spray drill. Oh, that's. <clears throat> Maybe six by six. No. Pinker than that. Hard to tell what colours are sometimes through the colours. That's it. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like is the colours on the outside change the colours on the inside. So when you blend the two together, they don't look like they're right. So if you have a drill left over, sometimes you can't spot which one it immediately came from. But that's okay. I kind of got used to it by the end. Um, I've worked my ever moment with this method and loved it. It was confetti central. Um, but I did not find that to be a problem um, with my kind of method. Putting one in is certainly easier than putting three in at one go. That's why I fold them over. Um, so they're concertina together. Oops. Running away. X14. Yeah, these definitely weren't the drills I was thinking was giving me a nightmare to read. The kit I got that was a nightmare to read was because this print here, look, you can see that quite clearly. The kit was even fainter and, you know, half the colour, half the print was missing. Um, so when you had half the print and the fact that it was the matte on the dark colour, a nightmare made counting my colours so much more difficult than it needed to be.
Um, you're not going to be able to see what the colours compare like now. It's the two once they're in these boxes because so the colour changes with the colour on the outside. And while the colours themselves are different, I think they're still at least within the um, range. So, you know, they've changed 336 and they're using another blue in the spectrum. I don't know why they're doing that, but they are. And the other thing with these containers are that you've got the inner cover and you've got the outer cover. So if it falls, I hope the outer cover keeps the inner covers from bringing open. Um, that's certainly the hope. Um, and if you drop the drills, I think I've got a hope. Oops that you're only losing three and not the whole lot. Final three in the round. Need that, and here we go. Three eighteen, oh, and three twenty six. Handy, right next to each other. All right, so this is me. Well, you've seen me put the labels on on the square, and you've seen me put the drills into the boxes. Um, you probably don't need to see me repeat doing that. Put the squares. And I'll do that on my own, and I will see you around. Uh, pop these in for prosperity. Um, these might not fit. We'll see how we go. No, I don't think that's it, so I'm going to separate them. And squish. Squish, squish. Done. Round, all done. Um, and they are nice and compact. So, there you go. That's, um... Labels put on and drills put in and look, I have a spare tail pink. Oh yeah, this one was missing the two lots of drills. I was gonna say, oh, I'll stop doing this now. I might not be able to. <clears throat> Yep. So that's kind of what it's like trying to match a stray drill. 
pick and mix, see which ones are definitely not like, um, and go from there. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you will see this kit as it develops, whether it's uh, whips or um, just progress photos. I'll um, do some updates as I go. Um, thanks for watching. Stickers on, drills in. I'll keep going with the squares and um, have a chat with my son who was just calling. Thanks for watching. Bye.